it's really exciting. I just can't wait to dance again. <laughs> I don't think it, like, it's going to be really awesome. South Okanagan bars and restaurants are celebrating the lifting of some COVID-19 restrictions by the provincial government that went into effect as of midnight, ready to go ahead with full capacity, mingling and dancing. We were not expecting dancing to come back so quick, so our team are losing our mind right now. These new restrictions just mean more people can come and enjoy themselves. Uh, we're not taking our eye off the ball with regards to uh, cleanliness and upkeep of the venue and being as smart as we can because we know this isn't over and we don't want to take too much advantage of these these changes but there's a lot of positives that we can uh, we can work on and just improve everyone's experience and offer it to more people which is the most important thing. Frankly we think that people are ready to go. Spring is in the air and I think people are ready to get outside and it's I think it's everything's going positively right now so that's awesome. Well, yeah the changes are huge. Um, the, losing most of the restrictions especially table size um, and the you know, getting rid of the plexiglass again and not having six feet in between is uh, is a game changer for our industry. Some spots have jumped on the opportunity to book bands and live acts already, ready to get the party going. A ski hill bar is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to mingle. You're supposed to tell stories of your day and go from table to table and have people just show up randomly and sit down and sit on the floor, but it's a huge relief. Like, we've already got bands booked, DJs coming from Vancouver. We're talking to dozens and dozens of really great, fantastic acts and entertainers, um, and just starting to kind of hopefully get back to where we left off before this and establishing this venue as well, it's 20 plus years now of heritage entertainment and good times and partying. So it's what we like to do, and it sounds like we might be able to do it again pretty quick. At this time, mask mandates and vaccine passport programs remain in place. Measures will be re-evaluated by BC's top doctor ahead of spring break and Easter weekend. And whether you uh, uh, support the mandates or not, I don't think it's uh, really relevant. I think everybody, regardless of that, is tired. And um, it'd be nice to feel that we have a light at the end of the tunnel that maybe isn't a train. For Gasnet News in the South Okanagan, I'm Casey Richardson.